Craig from Terrain Direct. Today I am going to do the review for the Hearst Arts moulds. I've been using these moulds for quite some time and they're still in top notch condition. Um, if you've never used the Hearst Arts moulds before, you need to go and check out Hearst Arts website. It's hearstarts.com. Simple. Basically, I'm going to start off with one of the tower buildings. It's a extremely interesting mould. Um, it's like a cobblestone effect all the way up the building. And if you actually follow the mould plans which are actually on the Hearst Arts website, you will build a, a fairly big building out of it. It does require multiple casts, as would any. This is the actual mould. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to show you some of the, the actual detail in there. Um, this one is a very easy mould to actually pour. I've cast this so many times, so so many times, and I just noticed my autofocus is going a bit. <clears throat> the next one is, I can't actually remember, hexagonal tower. This is a hexagonal tower and it's in the gothic section of the Hearst Arts website. This one has been cast maybe over 200 times and if you can see it is still at Absolutely in mint condition. Well, near mint should be the technical term. I'll see if I can get that a little bit to focus a little bit closer. You can actually see all the little detail inside there. It gives a using the right casting plasters. If you go back, I've just I've done a review on different casting plasters or a technical oversight to casting plasters. The casting plasters it all depends upon what you're using. Um, if you're using um, casting plasters that do get, do well with fine detail, they're going to make some superb models. Absolutely superb. This one, I can't actually remember what this one actually was for. I actually, this was an impulse buy. Um, I just liked the actual style um, of the actual mould itself because of the big blocks and I do on a lot of my own custom built scenery I actually multiple, use multiple of these blocks so when I'm building things for myself it's I could be building something that's absolutely huge so that one in line with a couple of other moulds which have also got as many solid bricks as that one comes in in handy this one, this one's actually out of the bag, it's actually been, this one's just not long been used. So you can see it's actually covered in talcum powder. Talcum, when actually, after finishing using the moulds, seal it, place some talcum powder over your mould, bang out what's left over, put it into the bag, seal it. One bag per mould one bag per mould. Try not to stack it any more than th two, three high if you're actually stacking them on top because you don't want to put pressure on the bottom one and make it shrink or damage the actual silicon. The silicon by the way is very very flexible. Very very flexible. I've never had a problem demoulding any of these moulds. I've never actually had a problem with bubbling in these moulds. I know some people who actually have already done videos on this do have had problems with bubbling. But they get around it by using different different methods by using um, disinfectants for dishwashers. In America I think it's called um, jet dry. Um, in the UK it's just finished, uh, oh, I can't remember, but finish actually make the, <laughs> make the product. Um, and it's what actually helps your 
all your plates dry and your glasses dry streak free. It's available in almost every supermarket. This we follow. This has been one of the most handiest moulds that I've ever bought. It's very, it's quite thin. It's quite a thin mould, but it creates a block of bricks. That's just basically these, but already put together in a wall. So if you're building something like a, a castle, excuse me, this is just water I promise. If you're building something like a castle and you need, you could probably need thousands of blocks to build an actual full size castle. This fellow is going to save you so much time. It's been cast three, three, four hundred times at least. Not only does it, not only can you use it as wall sections, you can use it as flooring sections, walkways, and flooring, roofing I've even used this as. I've even used it to base, uh, to actually make the roof line on a model, the actual apex. And it did actually come out quite a nice model. The only downside with this model using it, when using it, is sometimes, as you can see, the sides interlock with each other. And after casting, sometimes, depending on how much that you've filled the mould, parts don't actually fully interlock with each other. They're either very tight or there's a slight loose, there's a like a slight loose part just like that, which is easily, easily fixable. Um, if it's too tight, sandpaper. A little bit of sandpaper, give it a few rubs over, guaranteed it's going to fit next. If it's loose, put them together. Keep building, build a whole section come back with something like multi-pot, model filler, um, green stuff even, and fill in your gaps. It still looks great at the end of the day. Now, this is another one of my personal favourites. This is a cat, this is a, I actually need to check up because I can never get this right. I always used to call it a caravan mould, but after today of walking, um, it's a cavern accessory mold. It's uh, mold number 85. This one actually has so many parts. Some of these are very, very intricate. You can't actually see some of them. This fellow here, this is actually a door. Inside there is very, very deep. I have had not problems as such getting these out of the moulds but they do pose a challenge. I'm always up for a challenge anyhow. But as you can see in this, um, these fellows here, these are crystals when they come out, um, hexagonal crystals. This is actually a stone doorway. This actually makes a nice big barrel. Yeah, it actually even comes with the stands the stand part is just here, just in there. That's the actual stand. When it comes out, it's looped, so you can actually just sit your barrel on top. Once this has been cast twice, stick the two together, stick them on that. You've got a nice looking flag in or something for if you're making a tavern, a tavern building, putting those outside will look great. There's barrels, there's broken buckets, there's coin stacks, fires, there's something that's like a lion glyph just there. Um, overall these moulds are great. So I've never had any problems with the Hearst Arts moulds. The Hearst Arts moulds for me are excellent. But leave a comment if you've actually used these moulds I'd love to know what you actually think of them. Um, for a more detailed like casting instructions, go and check out Rubbish In, Rubbish Out's YouTube channel. He's done lots of videos actually casting the plasters. I will eventually get around to doing the casting section, but for now, um, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> so, 
from me, happy wargaming.